Meantime, we are learning more about a potential child abuse case at a Sioux Falls daycare center. Yeah, up to 150 kids are without that facility's care right now. It's temporarily closed while the police department investigates the incident. John Gaskins with continuing coverage now here at 6. Sioux Falls police arrived around 1 p.m. Tuesday here at Wildflower Academy across the street from Terrace Park in northwest Sioux Falls. And authorities stayed here for about two hours until every child in care at Wildflower had been picked up by parents or guardians. The police's involvement started around noon. We had a call from Department of Social Services, specifically Child Protection, and they had information that there was some physical abuse, not sexual abuse, but some physical abuse that happened between an employee and a child there. About an hour later, officers were sent to Wildflower. There was enough information that, that led us to believe that if we left children at that daycare, there was a potential that there could be harm to other children. Calls were made to parents making sure kids could be picked up, and the police stayed until they were all gone. DSS investigators were also on the scene. There were no reports of chaos or commotion. We don't have any arrests and don't have anybody that's been charged with the crime at this point. Public Information Officer Sam Clemens says there could be potential for other victims and encourages parents who have any information to call Sioux Falls Police. If people uh, have thoughts or think there may be something wrong because they're seeing certain signs or the way a child is rea reacting or things that they're saying, those types of things could be valuable to us. Clemens says he knows of no prior incidents at Wildflower and that child abuse reports at daycare centers in Sioux Falls are pretty rare, but... There's probably a lot of aspects to this. Anytime we have issues at a daycare, uh, there's a lot of different things that get we kind of dig into to, to try to figure out. Wildflower is now temporarily closed. Clemens says the closing was not the decision of the police, that DSS controls licensing. Meanwhile, DSS has not responded to our questions about the incident. In Sioux Falls, John Gaskins, Dakota News Now.